Hello guys and welcome to a new video of New in Britain Storytime. We almost have 1000 subscribers. You guys have given me so many comments, so many suggestions, and we will put them in practice in this or in the next video. Finally, I will be giving you an update of my time in the hospital. Plus, I will announce who is the winner of the 100 pounds giveaway. So, with all this said, my name is Unai Ledesma. I am the founder of New in Britain, and this channel has made so far 35 pounds and 59p. I would like to start the video with a quote of mine. There are many different ways that you can learn. You can read books, you can study in the internet, you can speak to people. But, but, there are some times that you will only learn once you put it into practice. Otherwise, you wouldn't go through and you wouldn't learn it at all. I came to the UK 20 years ago. And during all this time I worked in the UK, I worked for many customer services jobs and have been speaking to many people. Many of them have been very happy. But many of them stated to be happy, but they weren't as happy. Yes, England is the country where many people come to develop themselves and to do better. However, there still are many people who aren't happy. Let me give you some examples. The other day, I was talking to one of my colleagues and I was asking him, Hey, are you happy? He said, yes, I'm very happy with my life. And then I said, would you like to be in one of my videos? And he said, no, no, no. I prefer not to be in the channel because I don't want my family, my friends, my colleagues from school, my teachers, I don't want them to know that I'm not doing well in life, I don't have a good job, I don't have this. Okay. Also, other people, they said, no, I, I'm happy with my life, but yes, I am very upset because my boyfriend broke, broke up with me or, oh, my back is really hurting, so I'm happy, but my back is really hurting. Hold on, okay? Wait a minute. Hi, Siri. Can you tell me what is happiness? The term happiness is used in the context of mental or emotional states, including positive or pleasant emotions ranging from contentment to intense joy. How can you be happy, content, but at the same time you are upset for other things? I don't think then that this means you are happy. I think this means that you are not happy. That's really great. Because of this, I started myself to learn some information. I started to read books. I started as well to uh, watch some videos. I did so much stuff. I also procrastinated a lot. However, when I was not procrastinating, I did actually quite a lot of work. And these are some of the outcomes that I found. I don't know if you heard of this, but we have the World Happiness Report. The World Happiness Report is a document made by United Nations. What they do, it is they analyze different countries and they analyze different happiness in different places. And then they put them onto one list and they put it all together. What I have seen, it is that in some countries, is the UN who does it and some of the countries is their own country then they're doing that. They kind of have the same style but they all standardize the system of what they mean by happiness. What it says is that in the UK we were the number 12 but since the pandemic we are number 15. So since the pandemic happened we were affected quite a lot and a lot of people they have lost happiness. Some of the reasons why people are saying is because of Covid. <coughs> My personal opinion it is that Brexit has also got a big influence as Many businesses are struggling because they don't really have enough money to go by. I also saw that the Office of National Statistics says that 1 in 5 people are experiencing depression in this country right now. The report also indicates that people that they're earning less money, people that live in worst areas, people without education are the ones that they're gonna struggle the most. My opinion is that sometimes people don't really like to say how they feel because they want to fit within the group, they want to say that they are happy because once they start talking that they are not happy or something is wrong with them, people kind of tend to exclude them. Sometimes I have even seen that people who are at university people who they are at Oxford or they're in Cambridge, they are the people that should be the cleverest and they are going through some of the biggest mental disorders because they have these expectations and they have to do well and if they don't, they are not allowed to ask for help. Thanks God now the university have realized this problem and they start to open themselves but what about people that they don't really like to ask for help because they have brought, they have been brought up in that way? So what did I do to solve this problem? And as a marketer, I thought that the best solution I could do is by researching to it. For those of you who don't know, I've got a society called New in Oxford. At that time, we were around four 
three to four thousand members and i thought that i can go to people ask them what makes them happy as well as this i spoke to many other people in the street and the solution that i came with is that people are happy once they have good finance obviously once they have the good emotions once they have commitment to do what they do when they are with people that they want to be with and they are motivated with the people around them and once they feel healthy and strong my solution now it is to inspire as many people as we can to follow our journey i will be focusing into creating videos about finance but i will also like to include any of the other topics such as emotion physic and i will be playing videos about it and i will try to show you what has happened will it not be amazing if we can improve our finance while we are being happier healthier and learning things at the same time i would love that now i would like to let you know why am i motivated to do this several years ago my father passed away and what i was doing i was going all the time to spend to see him while he was in the doctor he was ill quite a few times like four or five times a year and he used to be in the hospital quite a lot so every single time he was in the hospital i was trying to go there to see him but I was so young, I was 18 years old, and at the same time I used to go to see him during the day. In the evening, I used to go with my friends and go and party. So, long story makes short, is that once I told the doctor what I thought was happening, my father died and they didn't know, even now up to this date, we don't know exactly the reason why he died. So, I thought to myself that I have got an immune disease that Every now and then, my body creates different illnesses. What I can say is that I told the doctor and I said, Oh, will my father not have the same thing? The doctor looked at me. He probably thought that, oh, this guy looks destroyed. He has been partying all the time. So he looked at me and said, Oh, if you would like to tell me what you think your father can have, why don't you study a degree in medicine? And then he woke off. Years after, yes, we don't know why my father passed away, but by looking at the conditions that I have, by looking at the conditions that he has. And if the doctor would have given him some immunosuppressants, he would have been able to be here with us right now, but he isn't. This is the reason why I would really like to be telling to as many people as I can this, as I would like to be sharing with as many people, and I would like to make healthy and happier to as many people as possible. So... Hopefully we can all this be in our journey together and we can all become happy, healthier and better human beings. And why I think that you should be following things that I'm doing. I mean, I'm not going to tell you all about it, but you can see my achievements that I have done with different societies, with different groups, my awards and recognitions. And I would really like to be a role model for you. I would really like to show you what I do because if I show you what I'm doing, hopefully you can learn from it. And I will also help myself as well. So this is a win-win for both of us and that's why I really want to do it. I think that building this community of people that they are motivated, hardworking people that would like to do something in life, it will be a fantastic thing. So if you would like to follow this journey, just subscribe and see the future videos that we do. If you would like to be part of this movement, I will need you to make a comment about how can you improve your finances? How can you have better relationships with people around you? Which exercise or diet can you do in order to have more energy throughout the day? What would you like to learn to make you happier? And is there is anything that you meant to do and you don't do it because you feel stuck? Comment down below. Now, for those of you that know me really well, I went on holidays to Cornwall, which was amazing, but I started to feel a little bit bad. When I came back, I went to a doctor, I had a, a blood test, and then they thought that I had quite a lot of sugar. They took me to the hospital and uh, they gave me insulin. When I started to have the insulin, I started to feel a reaction in my eyes that I couldn't read, I couldn't see. It was horrible, and I didn't know what was gonna be. So for that reason, that's why I have to stop the videos, because I couldn't see myself. Sorry for this, but thank you guys for the understanding. Now I feel much better, I'm going back to it, and everything is amazing. Thank you so much, I'm healthy. <laughs> I have not forgotten the giveaway! <laughs> you thought I did, but I didn't. Okay, so I put all the names here in an app, as you will see, okay? And then uh, from this app, what I did it is... Uh, okay, I'm now going to show you the names. So here you have the names. And what is happening then, it is... I'm gonna shuffle them. Perfect. And now... Let's just go to spin the wheel. Let's do it now. <laughs> oh. 
Víctor de las Heras. <laughs> Congratulations. Send me an email on the email that you will see on the channel. Or if not, I mean, I know you, so you can drop me a message and I will be in contact with you to send you the 100 pounds. Good luck, buddy, and see you next time.